Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to my week six predictions for the 2019 NFL season. I don't have my notebook. <laughs> okay, I have my notebook now. So, as I was saying, welcome to my week six predictions for the 2019 NFL season. As you can see right now, I did indeed pick the New England Patriots to beat the New York Giants, but concerning my record, Oof, I almost thought I was a curse on the Thursday night football game. But no, Patriots did end up winning. I was wondering, you know, I'm picking the Giants, or I'm picking the Patriots. Does that mean the Giants are going to somehow pull out the win? No, it's Patriots won. For a while, it was close. So let's move on to uh, the games that have yet to actually happen. Panthers at Bucks. I am going to go with the Panthers here. Now... Kyle Allen has been very, very, very good. Very good. And the Buccaneers have shown flashes, but between McCaffrey and Kyle Allen... Now, McCaffrey makes Kyle Allen's job a lot easier. But I'm going to take the Panthers. Redskins at Dolphins. The Dolphins are tanking. Some think intentionally, so I'm going to pick the Redskins. Eagles at Vikings. I am going to pick the... Eagles in this game. I trust Carson Wentz a whole lot more than I trust um, Kirk Cousins. And now that the Eagles are finally starting to get healthy a little, I'm picking them. Texans at Chiefs. So I'm going to pick the Chiefs here. They rebound from their uh, bad week against the Colts. And they're going to win this game. Saints at Jags, I still believe in Teddy Bridgewater, and he will be 4-0 as a starter for the Saints. Seahawks at Browns, I'm going to take the Seahawks here, but like I said yesterday in my week uh, 5 review, Baker Mayfield plays well when he is doubted, when he is disrespected, when he is embarrassed. Last week, they lost 31-3, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. They lost huge against the 49ers. So, watch out for that. I'm going to pick the Seahawks. I'm taking them. But watch out for the Browns and Baker Mayfield. Don't be surprised if they win this game. And it's in Cleveland. Okay, I thought when I mentioned it in my... Um, when I was doing my Week 5 review, I mentioned it. And I thought it was in Seattle. Nope. Okay. Bengals at Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens here. It's simple. They're just better than the Bengals, which creates a must-win game for my Steelers, but we'll get there when we get there. 49ers and Rams. This game, I was very, very iffy on. Now, Ty Gurley hasn't been much of a factor for the Rams, and he's out. Okay, so take a look. Marcus Peters and Aqib Tlaib have been struggling a bit, but the 49ers have played lesser competition. The Rams are still a good team. If the Rams can beat the 49ers, that is huge for the division for not only them, but Seattle as well. With that said, right here on my notebook, I have the Rams circled, but I am going to make a change right here right now here I can even show my notebook 49ers at Rams I am erasing that and I am going to circle the 49ers sorry if I touched my mic I'm pretty sure I did so not, can't really see it all that well, but I circled the 49ers. I'm going with the 49ers last minute change. I'm taking them. Falcons at Cardinals. I'm going to take the Falcons to win this game. They've kind of been up and down, but the Cardinals, I believe this is their last game without Patrick Peterson. Um, I believe he had a six game suspension um, for his um, PED violation. So, the Falcons are going to win this game, I'm going to say. It's bold, but I like bold. 
Cowboys at Jets. Here we go again, Cowboys fans. Lesser competition. I understand Sam Darnold's back. He could have a big day coming back from his mono. Lev Bell could have a big day. All these different players could have a big day. I don't think it matters. Could Dak struggle against, you know, the secondary? Eh, maybe. Jamal Adams is out there. Tremaine Johnson's out there. Marcus May. That's about it, though. The, I see the Cowboys winning this game. Now, will I be happy if the Jets win? Eh, sure. It's Cowboys. I mean, the perfect week is when the Patriots and Cowboys both lose. But I'm going to go with the Cowboys here. Titans at Broncos. I'm going to take the Titans here. The Broncos have struggled mightily so far. The Titans, oof. I mean, if they have a good kicker, they beat the Bills. If they had a good kicker, they 100% beat the, beat the Bills last week. But what are you going to do? So they signed a new guy. They cut uh, Cairo Santos. We'll see how he does. But I'm going to say Titans win. There we are. Steelers at Chargers. We got Devlin Hodges starting. We got multiple injuries for the Steelers. Quite a few starters are out. But the Chargers are not healthy either. They have seven starters at least out for this game. The anchor of their offensive line, or one of the anchors of the offensive line, Mike Pouncey, he is out. He is on IR now. Derwin James, they're all pro, pro bowl safety, second year safety, is still out with his injury. All these different players on both teams are out. It is a must win for pretty much both teams if they want to stay competitive in their division. The last time the Steelers beat the Chargers in, like at Chargers, was when they faced them with Michael Vick as quarterback back in 2015. Yeah, when it was at Chargers, the Steelers last won in 2015 with Mike Vick as the quarterback. Lev Bell took the game winner in on a Wildcat. Now, don't expect any Wildcat from the Steelers this week. Jalen Samuels, the guy who was taking all those Wildcat snaps, he had his knee scoped. He's out for a month. So don't expect any Wildcat. Devlin Hodges, Duck Dynasty, as his nickname is, is going to have to carry this team. Now, if, you want, if you're asking, why is his name Duck Dynasty? Does he look like them? No, he doesn't have a huge beater or nothing. But he's from Bama. He's from the state of Alabama. And he goes duck hunting a lot. He's a world champion, or I, I think it's a national champion, duck caller. So, he's nicknamed Duck Dynasty. He is an undrafted free agent from Samford. He broke Steve McNair's passing record for most passing yards in FCS history. He was a four-year starter at Samford. I think he has a real shot at winning this game, if he plays well enough. And the question is, do... Do the Steelers all together play well enough on defense to stop the Chargers, on offense to score points? I think they do. I'm picking my Steelers to win this game. It's bold. But like I said with, uh, what was it? What game was it? Did I say bold? Falcons. Just like the Falcons. They're injury riddled. But it's bold. And that's what I'm going with. I still have this pencil because I changed out the 49ers Rams. Lions at Packers. I'm going to take the Packers here. Um, not much to say about it. Packers are a pretty good team. Now, their run defense, it's a, it's a little suspect. It is. 
it's a little, you know, on the oof side of things. But the Lions, I mean, they just found their running back last year with Carrion Johnson. So, he's still a second-year guy, still kind of learning the NFL. Now, it slowed down a little for him, which is, you know, what's supposed to happen. But I haven't heard much of him this year. So we'll have to see how that uh, goes with the Packers. But, yeah, those are my picks. Now, am I going to go 16-0? and Probably not. But I do feel confident in a lot of these games. Do I take some risks? Hell mother yes. But what's life if you don't take a little bit? You know, a few risks here and there. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys next video. Later. Once I was seven years old, mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old.